I wanna start by first, I gotta say thank you to Best Tech because this Texel, it could not have come at a better time. I mean, what we've got the holidays, right? They're coming up. And I don't know about you, but I gotta buy gifts for family and friends. But I also, I still have to buy knives. Yes, I have to buy knives. And uh, not only is Best Tech giving us a great knife, but it's at an even better price. Let's do this. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jay. If this is your first time here now, welcome to my channel and consider clicking on that subscribe. If you're looking for knife reviews, they get right to the point. Over to the left, you should be looking at, uh, those are some specs. Now these are all measurements that I did take myself, but don't worry about remembering them because I will also list them down in the description below in case you wanna follow along. Why don't we go ahead and take care of the size comparisons just so you can get an idea of the, the true size that we're working with today. And we'll start out with uh, Spyderco with of course the PM2 and the Para 3. Next up is Benchmade and I have the uh, full size Griptilian and then over here is gonna be the Mini. The Texel is, it, it is just about the same size as the Benchmade bug out over here and then the Wii Practic. So if you like the size of these two, you are gonna obviously love the size of this. The blade to handle ratio is, well, it's perfect. I mean, you're looking at a three and a quarter inch blade up against a uh, four and a quarter inch handle. We're looking at a good looking example of a, of a sheep's foot blade uh, with a combination uh, finish of satin on the grind and then the flats are stonewashed. Best Tech did a really nice job with the plunge grind and then the edge termination point. And we do have, it's an oversized sharpening choil that it's definitely too small for a finger. Well, at least my finger, I don't know. Uh, ET would probably have no trouble using it as a, uh, a forward finger choil. I wanna show you the tip, of the, uh, the tip of the blade here and you can see, oh yeah, it definitely has some, uh, some meat on it so it's not gonna be too thin. I always appreciate that. And now, not that it's a huge deal, but if you take a look, you see this, this top swedge of course it's on both sides but it's a little bit off not symmetrical the jimping on the flipper tab and then also on the spine of that the blade it's actually it's kind of useless yeah they just really they don't have any bite to help you with uh, with traction mine has the uh, the black g10 scales but it also it also comes in like there's there's yellow there's orange even that you know that natural color or some people like to call it uh, jade we do have some you can see we have some some 3d milling uh, going on at which i honestly i think that that's pretty impressive considering the price which we're going to get to in a minute here the traction on this on the g10 is really really good and you can see that i can fit yep i can fit all of my fingers here with my uh with my medium-sized hand Best Tech gave us a, just a, it's a really nice uh, kind of deep index finger choil here on the handle. And then also notice, yeah, there's a very, very generous access to that liner lock. So very easy to, uh, to actuate. The pocket clip here, it's, it's not deep carry, uh, but also to be honest, it's, it's not terribly shallow in the pocket. I mean, you're looking at about, how about that much would be sticking out. Unfortunately though, like the, the, the widest section across when the knife is closed, it's gonna be at the top of, of your pocket, which really it's just another reason why I usually prefer deep carry clips. And I do have a modification for this and for that forward, for that forward choil that I will be sure to uh, show you in another video. It's gonna be just uh, tip up only for, for righties. Yeah, no, no lefty love here. Before we weigh this, I just wanna show you, uh, you, check out on the inside, you can see they did in fact uh, skeletonize both liners in an effort to keep that weight down. Let's see how they did. Very good, 3.5 ounces, which is gonna be the same exact weight as one, two, three, four, four AA batteries. Oh, look at that, or one Benchmade full-size Griptilian. 
How about we go ahead and check out how well that this uh, 3.2 millimeter thick blade, let's see how well it cuts. Holy crap. And this is a tall, I mean a really tall piece of cardboard. Holy cow, yeah, and it's just ripping through that. Now, I've gotta try this. Well, and because I love, I love cutting these Amazon envelopes. Oh man, yeah, that's nothing. Wow, that, that's party time. That's how much fun that is. I absolutely, I love, I love the action of this Texel. I mean, it is just, it's so good. Even though I can, I can fail it. Okay, I can fail it. There we go. Actually, it had to hit the cuff of my shirt to fail, but it's not easy to do. And closing this is, is equally as satisfying. I mean, whoa, it was, it was doing that drop and shut. I mean, like right out of the box. And that's going to be because of these uh, ceramic uh, ball bearings on the inside. So I, I assume that it will, the action will do nothing but get better. And I like that they, what they did was they kept the, uh, the size of this flipper, they kept the size down. So you're gonna be able to go ahead and use like more of that sharpened edge when you're cutting on a flat surface. Lock up on, on my example here. Uh, let's take a look, about 25, 25% and centering. Oh yes, that is perfect. Now there is one issue that I really need to bring up, even though I usually get a little bit of crap about this, but you know what, I have to be honest. So when, I, when I'm positioning my finger, just so, I mean, it's only at one certain angle, I can feel the, uh, the blade tip. Now, I do realize that this is probably gonna affect a very small, very small demographic, but yep, I can still, I can still touch it there. Okay, so are you guys ready to, uh, ready to talk price? Fifty-two dollars is is about how much that you can, uh, you can get this for. Now, if you are gonna buy this, I highly recommend that you go ahead and uh, get it from from White Mountain Knives because of my ten percent off coupon code, which is just simply two words, all lowercase. Lefty love. I will make sure and put all of that information and the link to this down in the description below. Even with the you know the the few issues that I mentioned, I still think that the uh, the best te Texel is a damn handsome knife. And if you can, I would go and pick one up. If you enjoyed this video and you did get some value from it. Do me a favor, let me know by just leaving a thumbs up because I do like them. Don't forget, click on subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Take care, see you guys.